Friday the 1st of July 2022. This is an extract out of the Australian Catholic Bishops Conference uh, in 2014 before uh, it has been infiltrated by uh, Pope Francis. Is the human eye proof of divine perfection? Well, of course it is. But, uh, when the body of uh, Dr. Yoshiki Sasai, an eminent Japanese biologist, was discovered in August this year, 2014, his death was widely mourned across the world of science. Not just for the uh, abrupt end to his glittering, glittering career, one which had seen him win several awards, including the 2010 Osaka Science Prize, and uh, it became the laureate of the 2012 Inu Prize for Science. Nor because of the tragic manner of his death, the 52-year-old was found hanged in his own laboratory, an apparent suicide. Some say after a scandal over a research paper he'd co-authored in January 2014. Instead, the scientific world lamented what perhaps Dr. Sassai was about to achieve. As one of the directors of the Riken Centre for Development, Developmental Biology in Kobe, he was one of the world. He was one of the world's leading experts in stem cell technology. His team had pioneered incredible new techniques for creating organ-like structures making giant strides towards a future where replacements for our failing human organs could be grown in a petri dish. And most tragically, the months before his death had heralded Sassai's biggest achievement. His team had already grown partial pituitary glands and even bits of the brain. But now he'd coaxed embryonic cells, stem cells, into forming the functioning tissue of arguably the most complex and scrutinised organ in the entire animal kingdom. Sassai had grown an eye, and in doing so, it also helped resolve a scientific obsession that had lasted centuries. In, the, in very basic form, the eye is thought to have first developed in animals around 550 million years ago. But such is, it per, is its perfect design, its infinite adaptability and uh, irreducible complexity that may argue it is proof of the divine itself. Of course it is. Even today, Christians and creationists believe that Charles Darwin himself was troubled by its, its existence, seizing upon an uh, oft, oft misquoted aside in Origin of the Species, where Darwin remarked that the whole idea of something so flawless could have been performed by natural selection. Seems, I freely confess, absurd in the highest degree. The eye, eye has become a focal point for biologists, orthomalpologists, physicists, and many other branches of science ever since. So when the Spanish neuroscientist San Diego Ramon, why uh, Ramon de Cajal made the first anatomical, anatomical 
diagrams of neutrons and the retina in 1900. It's, it's stoked a century of biologists attempting to unlock the eye's secrets. And there have been several discoveries. Unlike our ears and our nose, for example, which never stopped growing our entire lives, our eyes remain the same size from birth. Then there's a complicated process of irrigation, lubrication, cleaning, protection that happens every time we blink. An average of 4 million 200,000 times a year. Charles Darwin was so troubled by the perfection of the eye that he, he re remarked that the whole idea of something so flawless could have been formed by natural selection. He says, seems I freely confessed and observed is observed in the highest degree. Well, so much for the, the Big Bang Theory. Now, this was uh, written in 2014 in the Australian Catholic Bishops' Conference. Now, they uh, hide this sort of thing. They, they're in denial.